Okay, Shana, get a ball. Get a ball. Here we are on the afternoon of August 23rd, 2012, and Shana's going to get to go swimming. We've been sitting outside at Panera, and Shane has been saying, Oh, boy, when do we get to go do our swimming? And it's always in a minute. I just have one last thing to do. I'm working on your website. And now, Shane gets to go swimming. Hi! Aren't you excited? You better go get that ball before it goes away. Before it goes bye-bye. Hi, beautiful girl. Okay, you gonna go get that ball? I know there's all these rocks under this part, so we try to go over there where it's less rocky. What a good girl. Hello, beautiful. I don't know if you can see these rocks under here. Okay, do you wanna go over there? Hi. So we're over here at the Rivanna. A beautiful summer day. Hi. Okay. Here we go. Hi. Okay. Shana, get your ball. Come on, we're going to go over here. Go get it. Come on. What a good girl. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Well, this is going to be a little tricky. This mud gets very, very slippery, so if you see the cell phone go flying and then it goes bye-bye, that's what happened. Then you won't see that because the camera will get dunked in the water and good thing dogs don't have to worry about electronics, huh, Shana? All you have to worry about is going and getting that ball before it goes bye-bye. So there's no rocks over here, and this is where we usually come to go play with Shana's ball and let her have her what amounts to a near daily swim now. Hey, get your ball. Good girl. She's been averaging about five, six swims a week, sometimes more. Hey, Shana, look. Get your ball right now. Come. Now. Hey. Look. Shana has me on the pain no mind. Look. Hey. Look at me. Hey. Go get that ball. Good girl. She becomes fascinated by the fish, which I guess are bigger than I anticipated. Go get it! Because sometimes I see a kind of glop of water, and it turns out that one of the bigger fish came up and grabbed one of the little fish off the surface. And they're just gone in a second. Shana, get your ball right now! Good girl. And this is pretty much Shana's life. We go out and do our walking first thing in the morning. And then we end up usually at Panera, up at Barracks, and I work on her book. And right now I'm working on her website to build it out for the donations and telling the story of 
her medical condition and why she needs to have this surgery and blah, blah, blah. And she looks at me and says, when are we going to go swimming? And I look at her and I say, in a minute, in a minute. And she's learned that in a minute means that she's going to have to lay down for a while more. Hi, beautiful. But then, then we get to go. Hey, come here. Can you give me a ball? Come on. Right now. Oh, what a good girl. Very good. Ready? And there she goes. What a good girl. This is heaven. I know people define heaven in different ways. This is heaven to me. Right, beautiful? I hope you're not getting seasick watching this. I'm trying to do a good job of holding the camera relatively steady. You want to be back in the sun, huh? You want to be back in the sun. You know what? I don't blame you one bit. With that beautiful double thick coat of yours, which is black on the outside and it's copper underneath, I'd want to get all the sun I could too to make me as pretty as possible. Hello, pretty girl. So from here, we're going to go home and you're going to get your watermelon, huh? Are you going to get watermelon when we get home? Shane is saying, do you know how much I hate that cell phone? She hates it very much because when I'm talking into it, I'm not paying attention to her. For some reason, she views the big camera differently. I don't know why. She hands it up in front of the camera, but with this one, she really hates it. Are you going to get us some fish, Shana? Are you going to get us some fish for lunch? I don't think I've had fish for lunch in a very long time, but I'll tell you what, if you can catch it, I'll cook it up. How's that? Hello, beautiful. Hi. So after we have our watermelon, Shane is going to have her lunch, and then we're going to do our training. And Shana has a brand new toy that she got last night. What did you get last night, Shana? I was in a store, and I saw they were having some special deals on dog toys. And what did I find you? I found you a curly from the Three Stooges. That's right. We'll videotape that a little bit later today. And it's the first doll she's ever had that talks to her. You squeeze its belly and it's actually Curly's voice. With knock, 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 knock. And a whole bunch of other sounds from the Three Stooges. So, hi. And amazingly, I got it for three and a half bucks. I figured for three and a half bucks, I am not going to pass this up. So in a little over a week, in 12 days, Shana goes in for her surgery. And of course I am. Well, you can imagine. But Dr. Stiffler is very confident that this is going to be successful and she's going to make a full recovery. And with Dr. Rob's follow-up holistic care, Shane is going to be in good shape. And just keeping our fingers crossed and 
even though I'm not really a praying person, believe me, I'm not ruling anything out right now. Right, Shana? Beautiful angel. Hey, you gonna get your ball? Hey. Hi. You gonna get your ball? Okay, I see it's ten minutes, so we're gonna shut this thing off, alright? See you later.